Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing fine. This is mathematics. In this lesson, we want to look at this question. It is coming from 2022 GCE Paper 1. This was question number 10A. The question. The probability of Kasukulu waking up late is 0 0.3. So we have been given the probability that this person we wake up late. 0 0.3. Now the question is, what is the probability that she will wake up early? The question, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from an interesting topic in mathematics called probability. Whenever you are given such kind of questions, look at this. Late, early. Don't you think they are in opposite? They are. So whenever you are given such, just know that when you add the two probabilities, they should always, I've used the word always, give you one. As long as they are in opposite, they should give you one. So the probability of late, opposite is early. I see that? So these are in opposite. So whenever you are given such, when you add the two, you should get one. That is the principle. Always you should get one. So I'm saying, if the probability of doing something is 0 0.3, then the probability of not doing it will be 1 minus C, the probability of doing it. You see that? So they should always give you one. That is the principle. The other condition that you need to know is under the topic probability, all answers, whatever type of question you've been given, all answers under probability should fall between 0 to 1. That's it. So you can only have probability 0, 0 point something to 1. And also fractions, of course. Maybe 1 over 2, 3 over 5. I see that? Those are the answers we get in probability. Not 1.1. You even underline. There's nothing like that in probability. Not 2, not 3. You can't get probability 10, probability 50. No. Always this range. Well, with that in mind, so we are going to say, we are told that the probability of waking up, so say waking up late, the probability of waking up late is 0 0.3. Therefore, the probability of waking up early, of waking up early will be what will be equal to 1 minus the probability of waking up late so it will be 1 minus 0 0.3 because we want when we get the answer when we add them we should get one so now we subtract here what will be the answer this is now becomes a problem to some of you how to subtract all numbers from decimals, right? Well, what you need to do is this. You write one. This one is a whole number. It means it has a decimal point after it. Then you can add a zero. This will still remain a one. Then to place this one under uh, this 1.0, you put the decimal point, this one, direct under this. Then this side, you have a zero. Put a zero here. This side, you have a three. Put a three there. Then subtract. Like this. Zero, take away three. Will be what? We used to say it can't, right? So, you do this. Here, you are going to remain with a zero. Are you getting that? Add one to that. It becomes ten. Take away three. We are going to get seven. There is a point here. Zero take away zero, you see? Zero. Therefore, we can conclude to say probability 
or of uh, waking up. So it's just say uh, waking up um, early will be equal to 0 0.7. That is the answer. So when I add 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3, I'll get 1. That is the condition. Is that difficult? I hope you have understood this. Bye-bye.